St. George continues to grow and we're seeing massive amounts of growth on the south end, the north end, the west and the east end of the St. George area. We're starting to see lots of different industries come to this spot and we've got some major groundbreaking news today. There's a lot of big new retailers moving here as well as some other interesting things that you might not have expected. In this video, we're going to break it all down. Who's coming to St. George, why they're coming here and why ultimately this is a good thing for the area overall. What's up you guys? My name is Cody Steck, your favorite Utah realtor. If this is your first time to the channel, I make videos about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live and play here in St. George. And I love talking about what's going on here as well as real estate. If you're looking to buy, sell or invest in real estate here in the market, please reach out to me, call, text or email anytime. My information is here on the screen. I've had hundreds of people reach out to me about making a move here or selling a property, investing in property, and I would love to help you do the same. So with that being said, let's jump into my screen here and talk about some of these new things that are coming here. So this title says Kevin Costner is to open a new film studio in St. George, which the mayor recently announced. However, there's a lot more information in this article that we're going to go through here in just a second. So yes, first up, Kevin Costner is opening a film studio in St. George. Utah Tech University is opening another campus and a tech hub that is expected to input $3.24 billion into the local economy annually are all in the planning or construction stages in southern Utah. So all of this is going to be happening uh, either right now or in the coming years. The Sugar Loaf, also known as Dixie Rock, is also now on the National Register of Historic Places. There was also a video put out recently by McCray Hepler, a friend of mine who makes video about what's happening in St. George. He does phenomenal videos. If you haven't watched any of his videos, make sure to go check those out because they're super informative about what's happening in St. George. You definitely want to follow him because he talks about all developments happening at every single exit, every single intersection, every single road. He knows everything that's going on in St. George. So his videos are super cool. Make sure to go check that out. His focus for this uh, particular video was what's happening in Southern Utah along the Southern Corridor. Hepler announced that Kevin Costner, who recently filmed the uh, Horizon American Saga in St. George, fell in love with the area and is going to be opening up territory film studios near the St. George Airport. So this is on the southeast side of town. The campus is expected to include 70,000 square feet of sound stages, 51,000 square feet of production warehouses, and 31,750 square feet of production offices. So this is pretty crazy to see that a big movie name star like this is going to be coming to the area and creating this territory film studios. I think this is gonna be a huge boom for the area. It's obviously a very beautiful place and it's gonna bring a lot of in economic impact into the area. It's gonna bring a lot of money and it's also gonna get a lot of exposure for the area. So this is overall very good for the economy and this is gonna bring a lot of money to the area and um, you know, really help it grow and help bring the local economics up to a high level. The studio will also include a Costner themed restaurant and run tours that show different sets. I think this is gonna be pretty interesting. I don't know what a Costner themed restaurant is, maybe you know, highlighting some of the shows or TVs or, or movies that he's done, uh, but that sounds kind of interesting. Um, and I think it'll be actually be really cool to see the tours that show you the different sets. I, you kind of get that behind the scenes look. I personally would be interested in that. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Along exit three, Utah Tech University is building a Southern campus and innovation district that will bring entrepreneurs in genome sequencing, sport performance and weaponry working on inventions alongside students. This development is going to take 20 years. So this is not something that's gonna be built overnight. It's gonna take a long time for this to be put together, but these are pretty unique industries that are really gonna be happening here, right? Genome sequencing, sport performance and weaponry, uh, three totally different um, avenues uh, for you know the different um, these different industries. And I think that's gonna be pretty cool to see uh, how that develops with Utah Tech University. A major technology hub called Tech Ridge is also under construction. Plans include 260,000 square feet of retail, 600 hotel rooms, 2,400 residential units, and a community event center. The center is projected to add $3.24 billion to the local economy annually once built. This Tech Ridge is gonna be right up in here. You can see, uh, if we jump over here, uh, you've got the uh, th it's kind of hard to see on the map here, but this actually sits up on a hill. So you can see you've got the bluff right here, you've got the other bluff right here. So you kind of have to drive up either of these roads on either end in order to get up here to Tech Ridge. So I think it's actually kind of interesting they're building this on top of this area. I do think it's a great spot uh, to put stuff, right? It's right in the middle of town. It's a very usable spot. Um, however, I think it's kind of interesting to see that there's um, they're actually building this because the access to the area is not that great, right? So to put 260,000 square feet of retail space up there, 600 hotel rooms and 2,400 residential units. I don't know if that makes the best sense of space, but I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a real estate guy who loves selling real estate. Um, you know, overall, I think that if it does end up adding $3.24 billion to the local economy annually once built, that will ultimately be another very good thing. For now, Randall said 10 tech employees and many contractors work on site and many technology companies have relocated there. So you've only got 10 tech employees in the area. Um, they still have a very, very long way to go in order to build that out. She also flagged that a large pavilion for community events has been completed there. 
All right, so what's up next? Major updates along the Southern Parkway include a large MotoZoo Motorsports store building, which will include a testing track for ATVs, a second location for Sakura Hibachi Steakhouse and Sushi Bar, and a Smith's grocery store under construction behind the Hampton Inn with an In-N-Out burger across from it. There's tons of new development going in in this area. Desert Color is also going to include a Megaplex luxury theater with Swig drinks, another Swig. We don't exactly need that, but you know, what? again, you know, they're gonna throw it out there. Uh, food and a luxury bowling alley. Inter Mountain Health is also building a 38 acre campus to serve the growing southern Utah population. I think this is awesome. They're also building another um, campus, another healthcare campus on the north end of town in Washington. So to have this on the south end of town is really going to round this out for everybody that's on the south end, whether you're in Sun River, Desert Color, Southern Parkway, uh, you'll have access to this Intermountain Health area. Or if you're up north, you can go and visit uh, the other healthcare clinic that's on the horizon as well. On St. George Place, REI and Hobby Lobby will be opening stores and Utah-based brew pub Strap Tank is planning to open location there as well. So let me just show you where this is at real quick. Right here, we've got, I think the strap tank is going right down here somewhere off of Dixie Drive. I don't know exactly where it's gonna be. I could not find any information on that, but I do know it's right here somewhere off of Dixie Drive. And then over here, St. George Place is gonna be going in right here. This uh, whole area, this is the old Kmart. This has been basically just a rundown uh, area for years and years and years. People have been wondering what's going in there, um, but we finally have confirmation that there's going to be REI and Hobby Lobby going in in this area. They are gonna be a couple years out, so don't expect anything just yet, um, but that is gonna be great to have that right there in the center of town. And then also worth mentioning, I've got my own restaurant right here, Houston's Hot Chicken. Uh, we're going in right here next to the Swig. This is gonna be open in the next month or so. Make sure to come check us out. If you're in the area, please, please, please come support us and check us out. I'd love to see you there. Uh, we're going to be uh, serving amazing food along the way. We'd love to have you stop in. So continuing on, historic preservation. We're going to touch on this just briefly. The Sugarloaf, which is also called Dixie Rock to locals, overlooks the city of St. George. This was recognized last year as a historic landmark by the Utah Historic Preservation Office and is now on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, Randall, the mayor, also announced on annual Dixie Days competition to begin on the second weekend of September 2024. That will include a rodeo and a parade, as well as food, art, and music. They say right here, Washington has, count, uh, has cotton days, Santa Clara has Swiss days, Hurricane has peach days, and St. George has no days until now. So right now, now they've got Dixie days. So they're kind of doing another, um, you know, another uh, competition, if you will, rodeo, parade, food, art, music. This is going to be pretty awesome to see. It's going to bring, again, a large economic impact to kind of that downtown area. Coming down a little bit further, uh, they're also trying to secure funding for a control tower for the St. George Regional Airport. This will be good to have the airport expand and be able to get more flights in and out of the area. Right now, a lot of people are actually flying into Vegas and driving up uh, or maybe even coming down from the north um, because the flights into St. George are somewhat limited and just not really accessible. So it'll be good to see this expand even further uh, to provide better access to the area, uh, whether you're going in or out of the area. Uh, they also announced a new bridge will extend a river road on the east to Crosby Way on the west with construction starting this fall. A new construction project will connect 3000 south all the way down to the Southern Hills Parkway exit, uh, which is going to be a game changer for traffic. They just, they just goes on and says there's a ton of information about all of these new developments coming in here. Lastly, we need to talk about water, right? A lot of people are concerned about this, but what we're going to talk about here, I think actually goes to show that the water situation is not nearly as bad as what a lot of people think. If you've seen any of my videos or other videos about St. George, Everybody likes to complain about this. They say there's no water, stop developing, we're gonna run out of water. And unfortunately that's just not the case, right? That's kind of um, just fear mongering that's going on out there. And um, the water situation is actually improving despite all of this development. We're fortunate for the rainfall that we received the last two winters, but we know we can't depend on this type of moisture every year. So it remains important to conserve water whenever we can. Uh, they also confirmed that the district had received 1,900 applications for turf rebates. They're basically paying people to pull out the grass and put something else in. And from those requests, a total of over 1.1 million square feet of grass has been removed, um, saving water ultimately, right? He also noted that in 2023, despite adding more than 200 connections to water supply in St. George, the city actually reduced water usage by over 250 million gallons. This is pretty crazy to think about. Um, you really can't even fathom how much 250 million gallons is. That's an you know, extremely high number. It's very, very substantial. 
The Washington County Water District reported a similar decline in water usage in Southern Utah as a whole in 2023. Willis also announced that the city and Water Conservancy converted three soccer fields in the Little Valley complex from grass to artificial sod, which removed 200,000 square feet of sod and is expected to save nearly 16 million gallons of water annually. I don't know why they didn't just put the turf in to begin with, um, but I guess better late than never. It just ended up costing more money for the city and for the county. Uh, but it is what it is, right? Um, unfortunately, they kind of made that mistake. Should have put the, the you know, the turf in from the beginning. Um, yes, it is more expensive, but the water saving that you're going to get is uh, definitely worth it. So uh, with that being said, guys, we covered a lot here in this video. Like I said, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate here in Utah, please reach out to me. Call, text, or email anytime. I love hearing from you guys. My information will be here on the screen. Uh, reach out to me. I've had hundreds of people reach out and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I want to help you in your own individual situation and see what I can do for you. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel before you go. Leave a comment down below on what you thought about this video and we'll catch you in the next one.